Hi, I'm Kevin Lee, and let's get ready for some Hamid Wah! Learn some Chinese? Okay, let's do this. Okay. Oh man, be sure to maintain the quiet love. That's Hi, I'm Kevin Lee, and this is my friend Hamid. Hello! So, Hamid is a stuntman, professionally. Um, he's been working in the film industry for a long time. So, Hamid, why don't you tell us something about your uh, time you work? Okay, so, uh, let's see. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff. Uh, I was blue in Jurassic World. I gotta be a dinosaur so I can move around and do, like, cool raptor stuff. Uh, I've done a lot of stunts on a lot of Marvel shows. Uh, so Spider-Man Homecoming, Avengers Infinity Wars, Black Panther, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. And then I've done a bunch of other random shows like Logan. Uh, I love the Logans, by the way. Yeah, I worked on The Walking Dead. Uh, lots of stuff. I can't think of everything. There's a list on IMDb that's probably easier than talking to me about it. Look up Hamid Thompson. Hamid Reza Benjamin Thompson. Oh, there There's a dash. Hamid Dash Reza. So that's good. So tell us a little bit about Black Panther, because I'm very curious about that work. Uh, so technically, I can't really say anything until February, end of February, or like when it comes out mid-February or whatever. Uh, but it was fun, and I had a good time. Yeah. So what have you been working on recently? Uh, so recently was Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, and uh, the originals, which is a TV series with vampires and stuff. And uh, it's been fun. I may or may not live. And uh, that's all I'm going to say hmm. on all of them. Yeah. Hmm. Can't say it. Sorry. No, sorry. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so tell us about what was the, uh, the most fun experience. What the most fun that you had on set? Most fun I had on set? Tell us some, something crazy. Some okay. crazy story so, that you had. Uh, the most nerve. I'm going to go with the most nerve-wracking because that one, like, it was tough but also fun, uh, which was on Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, I was driving the van, I was doing stunts for uh, Bokeem Woodbine, mm -hmm. uh, who was the second shocker, bald black guy. And they would shave my head every day, so like I was this. bald. Didn't look anything. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, there's one point I was driving this van, and the Spider-Man stunt double was connected with 20 feet of wire on the back of the van. And uh, basically, I was dragging him along the streets, driving wild through neighborhoods. And I would take these hard rights and lefts, and he would be swinging out. And I'd have to use my uh, side mirrors to make sure he wasn't hitting anything, mm -hmm. uh, like trees or cars or anything. Because there's, and they wanted him to come very close to everything. So it was like really sketchy, and it was nerve wracking because I kind of had someone else's life in my hands. Uh, but it was fun. It all went over well, and we're friends, and it was great. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. What was, it, what, what, what was it like to be on a set? Uh, to be on set in general is kind of the same for me. Uh, it varies though, like uh, on Jurassic World, it was probably the most positive set I was on. Everyone was just happy and just wanted to have a good time. And I think that's how all sets should be. I mean, we are in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. We should be yeah. entertained while we're doing it. Uh, but you know, sometimes, because money and money's involved, people's livelihoods are involved. Mm -hmm. It's hard to always just stay positive when yeah. things are going wrong uh, or right. And uh, but you know, it's still fun. I always have a good time. And yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen Jurassic World, personally, I think that's a really good movie. And Hami looks like this. Yeah. So tell me about the experience of you learning, like, being a, a dinosaur, a raptor. What uh, was so like? that was super fun. Uh, we were in these gray uh, suits with white raptor heads, and we did like two weeks or three weeks of uh, training to learn how to move like the raptor, uh, which was super fun. And Do you still move like a raptor now? Not really, I'm not as good. Like, it's, it's I'm basically here doing whatever, bird ticks and stuff, but. Uh, how does a raptor jump on the phone? Oh, it's so much work. I don't, I don't know if I can do it. No, raptors can't jump on balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, it was a lot of work because uh, it was like your lower back's always dying. 
from like in, being in that position all day. But it was fun. I had a good time. Nice. And uh, yeah, each one of us had uh, like our own style of movement, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. So it um, it kind of shows the different uh, personalities of each rapper mm -hmm. on the screen. That's awesome. That's good. So Hamid and I did a, did a little short film back in the days. So, uh, But uh, we, we had some fun doing the stunts, we had fun doing some, some fights together, we'll probably do more in the future. Um, so tell me about how martial arts has in general affect your work, because I, I think like the, in the film industry there's so much more that you can do with martial arts. So um, I wanted to get your opinions on how this affects So um, martial arts I think is very huge for stunt people to uh, get into. Uh, it, I think it helps with a lot of things. First of all, uh, body awareness, body control, um, your accuracy. Uh, so basically when we're doing fights, like sometimes they're supposed to be messy, sometimes they're supposed to look clean depending on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is to know where you're landing your, your punch. It's different from like real fighting where you actually are hitting the person, you know, like we're punching with space in between. So uh, for example, if I was punching Kevin, uh, if I punched him here for the camera, that wouldn't sell, right? If I punched him here, it would sell if he brings his head back, right? So, so what's your if he brings his head back, like? just bring your head, yeah, there you go. Boom, and then it kind of sells. Whereas if he does it here, you see the space. So it, it, it varies. Or same thing for punching across his face. So um, maybe if I'm, if I'm punching across here, boom, that's not going to sell. But if I'm over this angle, and then I punch, but you turn your head to your left. This way. Boom, it's gonna sell. So you kind of have to just work with camera angles and be in control so you don't hit your friends or co workers. Uh, and then being able to like do the martial arts was really helpful. Like, I got to work on Into the Badlands, which is a really cool show. Uh, it's like martial arts based and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's great for your body movement and also self defense is huge in the real world. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and also like when you do all the drills in class and learn everything in class, uh, it helps when you're doing choreography on set. It's easier for you to pick up choreography or you can add to the choreography or because sometimes you have to come up with whatever you can on the spot and it really helps when you have it in your mind already. That's awesome. That's really good. So I love training with Kevin because he has all of the knowledge. Almost. In my mind, he has all of it. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> so, you guys probably know that I'm a huge food fan. So, I heard that, well, I personally I've been on set twice, okay? Mm -hmm. The food was amazing. And I'm sure like you have probably seen a lot more of like a fantastic food on set. What was your favorite food on set? Whoa. That's hard to pick. There's so much good stuff on set. Like, uh, I usually, depending on what the set it is, uh, some of the caterers make really good salmon or like lobster. I've had lobster on set before. And uh, it's just so good sometimes. Uh -huh. And uh, or like, I mean, it, it depends. Sometimes you have different types of steak and stuff. And it's just like, make Hard it to really choose good. from. But these are all meats. So they also have good vegetables too. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan, they have great options. Um, and it's like you have some world-class chefs basically cooking uh, wow. huge, buffet style meals and it's really fun. It's, it's probably hard not to gain weight. Yeah, you kind of have to just pick and choose what you want to eat and not overdo it, which is very easy to overdo. And especially when you're doing stunts, uh, you don't want to eat a lot and then have to perform. That makes things very, 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 very difficult. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Mm -hmm. So what, what advice do you have for the new beginning people that will trying to get into stunts? Uh, my advice would be, there's a few things. First thing is I would try to get on set to uh, know what, what's going on. A lot of people that, well not a lot of people, some people may get lucky or something and end up on set 
doing stunts and they don't know how to act on set and you can really uh, stab yourself in the foot. Uh, yeah. it, but point is, get on set if you can, like as an extra or help assisting someone, whatever it may be, and pay attention to what's happening. Be very vigilant, know what people are doing, why they're doing it, things like that. Mm -hmm. Also, train all the time. It's very important to train a lot. I think martial arts is very important because there's a lot of fights. Yeah. Uh, learn how to fall. So if you want to do some like judo or whatever, uh, it's good to learn how to fall. Uh, but into pads, you know, not just onto the ground to hurt yourself. Uh, so have that air awareness. And uh, mm, film some stuff on your own. It's super fun and see what it looks like, if it looks good, what doesn't look good camera angles that are nice, whatever it may be. Just see what you can do. Ah, that's good. That's really good. Y'all know some Chinese? Okay, let's do this. Okay. Oh man, Bishu, may tend to quite love. That's, is that Mandarin? You, yeah. You're Cantonese, right? No, I'm in Mandarin. What did you say? Oh man, Bishu, may tend to quite love. Something about being happy every day, which yeah. is important. We okay. must be happy every day. We must be happy every day. Say so that one more time. Woman, yeah, woman. Woman, Bishu, may tend to quite love. Woman, Bishu, may tend to quite love. Woman, Bishu, may tend to quite love. Okay. Fang kai nie ge nyu hai, la shi wu la. Fang kai na ge nyu hai, ta shi wo de. Yeah. Let go that girl, she's mine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty uh, good. What else say? Uh, Suli, like a uh, forest. Boris, right. Suli, uh -huh. Suli, Suli, Dasu, Dasu, big tree. Yep. Okay. Uh, Xiao Su, small tree. Uh, Xiao Momoncho. <laughs> what? Small caterpillar. Momoncho. Oh, Mao Mao Cho. Mao Mao Cho. Mao Mao Cho. That's uh, caterpillar. That's good. What else? Uh, I know something else. I just can't think of it right now. Oh, uh, Bizi. 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 Toba. Oh, Tofa. Tofa. I forgot what eyes. Yan Jing. Yan Jing. Yan Jing. What's the leg? Jiao. 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 And then Jiao something. Jiao Di. Jiao Di. Jiao Di. That's Jiao Di. Uh, so. So. Yeah, I don't remember so. that. Mm. Uh, what else? Oh, I know some other stuff. Probably not good. Yeah. Anyway, what can you teach me? Okay, so let me see. So, what would you like to learn? <laughs> uh, um, you have nothing to fear, Hamid is here. You have nothing to fear, Hamid is here. Be high pa, Hamid is here. Wait, wait, one more time? Okay. Be high pa, Hamid is here. Be high pa, Hamid is here. Be high pa, Be high pa. Hamid Zai Jun. Yeah, or you can say, you can say, um, Be high pa, yo wo zai. Ooh, okay. One more time. Be high pa. Oh, be high pa. That's the same word. Yeah, be high pa. Yo wo zai. Yo wo zai. That basically says, don't be afraid, I'm here. Yo wo zai. Yeah, yo wo zai. Yo, yo wo zai. Yeah, yo wo zai. Yo wo zai. Yes. Yo, so for those of you who are curious about this, it means don't be afraid because I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Because Hamid is here. Yeah. Yeah. Hamid is here. What's the first part again? Uh, be a high pa. <clears throat> Yo, wo Yo, wo zai. Zai. Okay. Yo, yeah. zai. Be a high pa. Yo, wo zai. Be a high pa. Yo, Yo wo zai. zai. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. That was good. Cool. That should be the end. Okay. That's too we should, do it, we should do it together. Okay. Be high pa, yo wo zai. Be high pa, yo wo zai. Okay, ready? Be high pa, yo wo zai. Wait, one more because I'm looking at that section. Oh. Can you move yourself down? Pretend I'm grabbing your foot. Yeah. <laughs>